Psalms and Proverbs in 31 Days leads the reader through the reading of the 150 Psalms in 31 chapters of Proverbs over the course of a 31-day period. It's not such that the plan simply tells the reader to read, say, Psalms 1 through 5 in the first chapter of Proverbs in the first day, and then to continue by reading Psalms 6 through 10 in the second chapter of Proverbs in the second day. The plan doesn't do that. Instead, the plan breaks up the book of Psalms into 30 Psalm chunks. So what happens is that as one reads through the plan, they're constantly reading from the beginning of the book of Psalms, in the middle of the book of Psalms, and in the end of the book of Psalms. It's actually quite interesting. As such, the reading plan begins by informing the reader to read, say, Psalms 1, 31, 61, 91, and 121, and also the first chapter of Proverbs. This continues in a sequential manner until the reader comes to the 16th day where they'll be reading, say, the 16th Psalm and also Psalms 46, 76, 106, and 136 and also conclude the day's reading with the reading of the 16th chapter of Proverbs. There is no devotional aspect to this reading plan. It's simply a listing of various text that the reader is to read over the course of the period of the reading plan. I found it to be quite interesting. It was good for me to remember about God's character because the Psalms and Proverbs talk about that in various ways. And so I got to be reminded of God's holiness, His righteousness, His justice, and also His hatred of sin. And then also of some of his dealings with the children of Israel because quite a few psalms do contain large amounts of history. And also I enjoyed reading from the book of Proverbs because it is actually one of my favorites. And I liked to read that and be reminded about advice and guidance on how to deal with other people. It took about 10 minutes to conclude the reading for each of the various days. Sometimes it'd be a little bit less, sometimes a little more. But it wasn't too much. It wasn't such that it felt like it was a burden during any portion of the reading plan. I would recommend it for those who wish to read from the book of Psalms and Proverbs, especially if you have not done so before. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video, and have a nice day.